Well, for a local family, this past week has had a lot of ups and downs, but it certainly ended on a high note. News Channel 5's John Quill Newland joins us with one little girl's story and her quest to find her stolen sleigh. Jessica, last Sunday, Kayla Woody's handmade wooden sleigh, the one her parents built for her as a gift, was stolen while the family was at church. A Grinch literally stole her beloved Christmas gift, but the community stepped up in a big way. It just reminds me that someone stole it. When we first met Kayla this week, she was pleading to the thieves who stole her one-of-a-kind Christmas gift, Santa's handmade wooden sleigh. Pretty please, cherries on top. It was taken from their front yard when the family was at church. After the story aired, the Woodies began getting calls from people saying they had seen the sleigh, including one call from police who also sent a picture. It was a picture of the sleigh in the back of a pickup truck. Their hopes were high. We thought for sure they were going to get it back for us. But it wasn't meant to be. The criminals tossed the sleigh into the Duck River where it was destroyed. It went from excitement to sadness to, so it was a, it was a mixture of emotions. I thought that was a really mean thing to do. They could have just put it on a, like a side of a store built place or something. All of the hours that Kayla's parents put into building that sleigh were now down at the bottom of the river. Christmas came and went with no sleigh, but the neighborhood was not going to let that stand. On Friday morning, the Home Depot dropped off a brand new one, nearly twice the size. I like because it's really big and it can hold a bunch of animals. And inside of it, holiday decorations for next year. Like a blow up snowman, blow up Santa, blow up dinosaur. The dinosaur is huge. Despite how the week began, Christmas at the Woody's house was a special one. Even though there's a few Grinches, overall, those in the community, I saw so much more love and concern. The Woody said they'll likely press charges. Authorities say an 18-year-old confessed to the crime along with getting help from a 16-year-old. Jessica.